Good morning, Minxie ladies. Hi, everybody. Don't adjust your screens. You are watching the Minx Live. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I am Caitlin Taylor. I am a personal stylist, and I um, come in and work here with the lovely team at Minx every Wednesday. Uh, but everybody has abandoned me, except <laughs> Nay, who's behind Yay. the camera. Um, so Kush and uh, lovely Annie are at home isolating, and um, lovely Ella is off in Dunedin. So it's just me and Nay, um, and a lovely lady who just walked in to um, come shopping. Come <laughs> Come through. Um, so, um, the rules from above today are focusing on the lovely flat shoes. So, we've got a couple of different loafers to show you guys today. Um, and then, Nay and I just kind of pulled a couple of different outfits to give you some ideas on how to style them. So, kicking it off, we have the lovely, Nay, what are these loafers? These are called Lena. The lovely leaners. Now I am a standard 40 in a flat shoe um, and I've got my 40s on in these. They're nice and soft to wear. Um, and Kush's instructions were, wear something that we can see your legs, Kate. So I'm um, putting some legs. shorts on. <laughs> yes, our lovely um, overlay shorts. The overlay shorts, um, I'm in a medium in these. I'm a pretty standard 12. And then I've popped the lovely knit to try and make it a bit more of a transseasonal look. Now the weather here in Auckland has been a bit up and down. It was a bit chilly. Now it's quite warm again with the cloud cover. Um, so quite liking this transseasonal look. And I think the thing I really like about the loafer is they're a great transseasonal shoe. So they're a great shoe when you kind of don't want to wear a boot yet, but a trainer feels a bit too cash. A loafer is a really great option. Um, um, and there's so many in the winter range this um, year. So we want to kind of showcase a few. So I popped this loafer with the shorts because I like the line that you can see um, and the detail of the shoe. The black obviously ties in the black knit, but what we can also do is then pop it out and switch it out. So we're gonna do a couple of quick changes here. Um, if you want to add a pop of color, love this color. You can just pop on these and they work beautifully with the black and white. Now, size wise, these are a 41 because uh, there was no 40s in here. There's a little bit of room in them. So the 40 probably is the better fit um, for me. But the black sole just ties in really beautifully when you're wearing it with a monochrome look. It's a really good way to add a little pop of color. Um, and the lilac is just such a beautiful contrast against skin tones. So it kind of gives you that really nice look. Um, again, great transseasonal kind of look there with the loafer and then the knit, um, but adding the shorts in the between. This could also be a skirt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop off exit stage left, yeah. get changed real quick. Nay's gonna talk you through a little bit of um, the other shoes here while I get changed real quick. So yes. all right. watch this Go, space. go, go. All right, ladies. So this is all of our beautiful loafers this season. Like we do have so many beautiful um, styles for everybody to choose. This is one of my personal favourites right here because it's got the same little sole as the, well, lots of uh, the Doctor Who's, the script boots, the, um, we actually have another loafer in this as well from last season, which is really cool. Beautiful pewter croco um, with the little elastic there. I love these because you ladies know that I am a jeans wearer, so uh, I feel like these in a nice chunky knit look amazing with jeans. Uh, we've got another pair over here called Picasso, which Caitlin's actually going to put on and show you with a pair of our black linear pants. And we also have this little lovely one here that we haven't actually showcased yet called um, Tintin. So this is the same uh, Baxter sole. So it's super soft, really beautiful rubber sole, nice and um, there's lots of movement with the shoe. You can slip on and off super easy. And it's got this lovely, beautiful textured leather. So actually, we will put this one on so that you can see it because we haven't actually given this any love yet. Oh, she's back. So that was I'm my back. little boom. Okay, so I've kept the loafer on in the beautiful lilac colour. Um, and my first instinct was to match it back with the car key. So I've got the Renee skirt on in the car key. This is the small medium. Um, I'm a pretty standard 12. Heaps of room in that there for the size. And then popping it back with the cropped V neck knit. V neck knit? Yeah, yes. uh, v, cropped V cropped knit. Cropped V knit. Yeah. And then we've we'll layered it with the um, the high neck mesh, turtle, turtle neck yeah. mesh Fine knit. Fine neck, turtle neck <laughs> mesh top. Here <laughs> we, we go again. We yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So creating those light layers That's again really for trans seasonal um, wearing. 
I, you guys might have remembered from the last live that we did, I'm a massive fan of how can we try and not wear black in winter, which I know is ironic telling Kiwis and Minxie ladies not to wear black. But here's a way that you can do it, come transseasonally, obviously the bit of black in the sole there. But otherwise, um, a really fun way to add that kind of mix of colour. I love the khaki and the lilac together um, in that little look. But we could then switch it out with some metallics so if we wanted to go a little bit more... Fancy in the metallic. This would be a great work look. It would be a great think. work look. Great little work look. So again, slipping into the 40 in these little shoes. So Let's again, just changing that. it up. You could actually add a black tight as well. So if it was it's getting really a little lucky. bit colder, um, you could add your black opaque stockings and then potentially switch out the top for a, uh, a black knit as well to tie the black in together. Um, but that gives you a really nice look with those metallic shoes. Just beautiful, well. stretchy elastic here, ladies. So it just slips on. Super comfy. So comfortable. So easy to get into. Yeah. A lovely little shoe. I know probably from the pictures they look quite narrow, but there's quite a lot of room in there, isn't there? Yeah, like, and I'm a, really? I'm a standard 40, like I said, although I do have issues now with the width of my foot after having babies. Um, I've got like a nerve issue on my foot and sometimes I do like to go up to a 41 to get that breadth um, but this feels really good definitely no squishing yeah. in there even though it is a pointy toe um, yeah. yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these shoes on Nay is going to take you through a lot of, another little uh, side tour I'm going to switch out the outfit and yep. keep the shoes on right I will take you down to just have a look at the other colorways we have in that lovely shoe the Picasso we also have a beautiful um, black napper, plain, we've only got a few sizes there ladies, um, which is just nice and plain black. Uh, we did have, oh here we go, here is the croco version, which is just equally as beautiful, just got a little bit of texture there, a bit of shine in the leather. Um, so that's the little family of uh, the shoe called Da Vinci that um, Caitlin has on, and so I am, ladies are 41, so it's pretty true to size that shoe. I know last week we did a little bit on the peaky, but we will do some more of this. Sorry about the lighting too. It's a little bit crazy. Had to turn the lights on today. Um, so we'll come back and here she is. This is another lovely look. Okay, quick change. Uh, so I've kept the top on, uh, kept the shoes on, um, and now I've added the linear pants. Guys, oh my gosh, if you are after a pair of black pants, these are incredible. They've got a beautiful kind of ponty weight to them. I love that that pleat detail. It doesn't pop out directly from the waist, which is quite nice. They've got pockets. Yeah. Um, now, I'm in a large in these pants. I'm probably a 13 on the bottom. Um, and because they are a solid button waist zip with no um, elastic, I think I feel better in the large um, in those. But again, these, the loafer style shoe, great shoe to pair back with your wide leg pants. Um, they just sit quite nicely and then you have that little pop of shoe coming out the bottom of them, which is quite a cute look. Now, height wise, I am 5'9", I'm 175 centimeters tall and there's still a good length in the pants. So I quite like where the pant is sitting. Um, you don't necessarily want them dragging on the ground, but it's sitting at a really nice length there. Um, so again, another really great office look, um, I think for the weekdays and that kind oh, of thing. Oh, we even, sorry, I'm just like, doing a total push here um we have our little bounce wait there's a belt yes weight. there's bounce to tie in the shoes Boom. um if you ladies have any questions definitely fire them through um for caitlin this morning um and obviously after the live as well oh look at Bring that me. love it yeah very cool yeah, yeah. very cool any ladies questions no the they're all very quiet this morning but um yeah, the linear pant, in case anyone is wondering, uh, the beautiful linear pants, which everyone knows is like my favourite. They are $249. Uh, the Renee skirt, which uh, Caitlin had on before, and the khaki, which have just come in. We've got a few sizes, probably sold out of the black. Um, I think maybe we've got one or two black. They are $189. And then this little combo on the top here, um, we've got the cropped V which is 159 it literally goes with everything skirts pants shorts 
everything. There's a one out of four ways video coming oh, yes, up with yes, the stay as well, tuned for that. So we'll share that on the oh, next what page. Have you tried? Oh, so I've just popped like a, just a, a more simple classic loafer on now with this look. So if the metallic was a little bit too OTT, um, you can just go a really simple look. I do love the idea as well of these if it was a cropped pant, like having that nice little bit of ankle showing transseasonally. It just really shows the form of the shoe, I think, which would be quite cute. Yeah. But obviously you can do it with a nice long pant too. Really good. Uh, simple, classic, comfortable work look with the plain um, pants as well. And you could keep the metallic belt on for that little pop of yep. bling if you Definitely. wanted to as well. Um, yep. Like Nay said, I love the idea of all the loafers with jeans as well. Like the lilac ones, I think it'd be amazing with a light jean. Um, but I also think don't be scared to wear them with skirts and dresses and shorts and things. I think they're a really super versatile shoe. Definitely one that when I'm styling clients, we're always looking for in their shoe wardrobe because they're just really useful and versatile. So, yeah. Yeah. It's our awesome. little loaf for life. That's our loaf for life for today. We're <laughs> gonna leave you because we've got a couple of customers in the store. So um hope you ladies love that. Put your comments in if you've got anything that you want um Caitlin to style, any shoes you've got any questions about in the comments, and we will look over those during the week. And hopefully when everyone's back on board <laughs> and um I've got some buddies in the office, it's, it's not very just us. quiet. Yeah, <laughs> um, we will do that. All right, ladies, Bye, thank guys. you.